Hi, this is Paulo from the MB Academy. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at how to make leads or arpeggios like the ones in the track Atlantis by LTJ Bookham. So this is the original track. And we're going to be focusing on that Clinton. So that's the sound we're going to be making. But before we get started with the video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any of future videos. And if you want to get access to preset and the project files, you can become a member of preset pass. The link is in the description below. So with that being said, let's get into the video. Okay. So first I have a very simple MIDI, just like that. I tried my best to replicate what's on the original track. You can copy this if you want to follow along with the video, but now let's go back into serum. And so here in serum, what we're going to do is we're going to load a square wave on oscillator a. Just like that. We're going to load a sub with an oscillator B. Mix it a bit lower and then run everything through a bandpass filter. Let's key track this filter and let's select bandpass 24. Bring the cutoff down. Then boost the resonance and the drive. Then we can mix it a bit lower. <laughs> Sounds really cool. Then let's go into the effects section, turn on the hyper and turn on the distortion. Just like that. Then let's select another bandpass 24 filter. And then let's key track the cutoff of the filter. Actually is bandpass 24. There you go. With this note modulator here in the cutoff. Boost the resonance a lot. That gives it that nasal feel. And now it's just building atmosphere around this. So for that, we're going to load a reverb. Then just increase the mix and bring the decay down. Then we can also add stack a phaser below the reverb. Bring the frequency down and the depth down. Maybe we can lift some of the depth and a very slow rate, just so it moves a little bit with time. And I'll jump into some post processing. Okay. So for post processing, we're going to first put an amp. So it has a bit more of a distort feel. Then we're just going to low cut some of the highs. Then we're going to add more reverb. and then more delay. But this delay, we're going to fade it in when the tracks end. And only in specific places. So this delay doesn't get in the way of the other notes. And we can always go back into the synth and change, for example, the waveform and the filter in case you would want to have a different sound. So yeah, that's going to be it for the sound and also for this video. If you liked it, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any of future videos. And if you want to get access to preset and the project files, you can become a member of preset pass. The link is in the description below. So thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.